In this video, we are going to learn how to connect the Microtic router and Cisco router to our computer. If we look at this topology, note that the computer is connected to a switch. Then the Microtic and Cisco router are also connected to the switch. Later, we will configure the IP address 192.168.1.1 on the computer. 192.168.1.2 on the Microtic and 192.168.1.3 on Cisco. Here, we know that Microtic and Cisco are on GNS3, meaning we need to create a virtual interface on our computer. Why? Because GNS3 is virtual. So, we must make a virtual interface on our computer to connecting our computer with router in GNS3. To create a virtual interface, you can enter start, then type hdwwiz. This stands for Hardware Wizard. Next, here, choose Recommended. Next, Next, Choose network adapters. Select Microsoft on the left. And on the right, choose Lubeck adapter. Next. Next. And finish. After create a virtual interface, we need to restart our computer. But before that, Let's save our project on GNS3 first. Okay, I'm done restarting my computer. To prove that our virtual interface is already up, we can enter the Open Network and Sharing Center. Then change adapter settings. Here, we can see that we have Microsoft Loopback adapter which is the local area connection to. Now, let's configure the IP address for this interface. According to our topology, the IP address is 192.168.1.1. Next, let's open our project on GNS3. Enter the project library, select our project, then OK. OK, here we see Microtic and Cisco router. Next, we need to import a cloud. The cloud will act as our computer. We also need to import an Ethernet switch. Next, we need to configure this cloud to act as our computer. Right click on it and choose configure. Here, we have to check show special Ethernet interface. Here, select local area connection to. Local area connection to is our Lubeck adapter interface. Then choose add and OK. Finally, Let's connect the cable from our computer to the switch. From the switch to the Bicrotic. And from Cisco to the switch. Now, let's turn on the Bicrotic and Cisco router. If the CPU usage reach 100%, we can do auto idle PC on Cisco router. Now let's try to configure the IP address on the Microtic and Cisco router. But before that, it is strongly recommended to look at the interface that is installed on the Microtic and Cisco by clicking this icon. Here, we can see that the Microtic is in Ether 0, but 
the interface naming in Mikrotik router is started from Ethernet 1. So Ether 0 here means Ether 1. Then on the Cisco, the interface is Fast Ethernet 00. Okay, let's configure the IP address on Mikrotik router first. The Mikrotik IP address will be 192.168.1.2. Next, let's configure the IP address on the Cisco router. The IP address of Cisco router will be 192.168.1.3. Now, let's try to ping from our computer to the Mikrotik and Cisco router. Open the command prompt. Let's ping to Mikrotik first, which is 192.168.1.2. Okay, it works. Then, let's try to ping to the Cisco router. Okay, it also works. Now, we have successfully connected our computer with Cisco and Mikrotik routers. In the next video, we are going to learn how to configure SSH on Mikrotik and Cisco. Thank you for watching. And see you at the next video.